What is the participatory inquiry paradigm and where did it come from? Well, let's start by identifying what it is not. The participatory inquiry paradigm was explicitly introduced in the late 20th century by Heron and Reason in response to what they saw as the insufficiency of other research paradigms. They sought to provide a fruitful perspective on research that avoids the limitations of positivist approaches, which assert that we can objectively know and understand reality, and are therefore often critiqued as overly simplistic and out of line with the complexity of reality. The participatory inquiry paradigm is not a simplistic positivist approach. As well, Heron and Reason wanted to avoid challenges related to perspectives such as post-structuralism, which can sometimes conceive of reality as so wholly dependent on subjective human perception that they do not provide a useful basis for research, because everyone's reality is different and personal, and therefore no shared knowledge is possible. The participatory inquiry paradigm is not a totally subjectivist perspective. Rather, the participatory inquiry paradigm is meant to inhabit a fruitful middle ground, which can be labeled a subjective objective ontology. It accounts for the complexity of reality and the role of human subjectivity in shaping reality. However, it also recognizes that a reality exists which is not dependent on human perception, and it sometimes refers to this as the cosmos. The cosmos is understood to dynamically interact with human subjective perception in order to co-create reality. Reality, therefore, is not wholly subjective or objective. Rather, it springs from authentic encounters and relationships between the cosmos and individual beings, including humans. Humans are not considered privileged knowers, but rather partners and relatives of other residents of the cosmos. In this manner, the participatory inquiry paradigm better reflects complexity-based or ecological understandings of reality that acknowledge the importance of all of nature rather than just human beings. This participatory objective-subjective ontology focused around rich encounter produces an epistemology or understanding of knowledge focused on interaction. The participatory inquiry paradigm's key characteristic is participation through relationships, which we create together. It draws on emerging science in physics, biology, consciousness, and cosmology that suggests that phenomena such as space and time, as well as consciousness and matter, which we are used to considering as separate entities, are indeed connected evolving wholes. Within the participatory inquiry paradigm, as an individual, my personal consciousness and knowledge of the world springs from intersubjective relationships. That is, relationships in which all parties impact others and are impacted upon. These relationships include my interactions with other people individually and my relationships with shared language, culture, norms, modes of expression, and beliefs, which I also shape through my interaction with them. Knowledge is also built through interaction with non-human beings and all the phenomena that make up the cosmos. Because knowledge is built through interaction and relationship, research cannot be conducted by objectively observing some other, like it is in the positivist paradigm. Rather, research includes complex interactions with others and with phenomena. Other beings are active participants in research, hence the name participatory inquiry paradigm.